Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is Eric uh, from Team Savage. I want to give a big shout out to um, other Eric, uh, Eric with a K. Um, he's the one that started Team Savage. And um, secondly, I'd like to give a big shout out to uh, Ed, who's uh, allowing us to do collabs with him and Team Elite. Um, so we're going to be showcasing um, a Fluffle deck today. It's a deck that me and Ed used to play back in our heyday. I'm going to say a couple of years back when we first met. And um, with the new Master Roll 5, it's actually giving us a chance to bring it back from the, from the, from the woodwork. Um, also, I want to start off this video um, with a combo, a two card combo with no extenders to show you the extent of the deck without the extra cards that you can still play. Just to give you an idea and then I'll go into the deck list to see if after the combo you're sold on it or not and then see if maybe you want to see the actual deck list. Alright guys, so um, I'm going to go ahead and start off the, the video with the combo. It's a two card combo with no extenders. Um, I'm just going to try to show you guys what this deck is made of um, with these just just two cards. And I'm um, assuming that, you know, you get it off with no interruptions. So um, we start off with Fluffle Dog by Normal Summoning. Uh, what you'll be searching out is a Fluffle Sheep. Um, and then after that, you're going to go ahead and um, activate um, Frightful Patchwork. Um, what you're gonna search with Fryer Patchwork is one polymerization and one edgem chain. Um, after that, you're gonna go ahead and activate uh, Fluffle Sheep's effect and uh, target uh, Fluffle Dog, special summon itself, and then also special summon one edgem monster from your hand. So um, unfortunately, I, um, I don't have Anaconda Verde, so I have to uh, proxy for um, Needle Fiber. I'm gonna go ahead and link and then uh, chain chains effect uh, from grave to add a fright for fusion from deck so from here i'm going to go ahead and activate fright for fusion fright for fusion is going to go ahead and banish uh fright for chain and sleep to act uh to special summon uh, my kraken from there i'm going to go ahead and activate polymerization from hand using uh, fry for, uh fluffle dog and fright for kraken to special summon um your Sabertooth and Sabertooth effect is going to go off to special summon Kraken from Grave. Then you're going to go ahead and um, overlay into um, either it depends on uh, what turn you're going, either first or second, it's your choice. But my choice uh, going first would be for Dengirsu. Um, and then lastly, before I end my turn, um, I'm going to go ahead and activate Verte. I'm sorry again, it's a uh, needle fiber for the time being. Uh, activate Verte's effect to send from deck my one copy of Instafusion and and then I'm going to trigger um, Verte's effect to use Instafusion's effect to activate and uh, special summon my one window. And at the end phase, I'm going to go ahead and activate Dengirsu to protect my window and then pretty much next turn, um, I'll be locking out my opponent from their uh, extra deck. Question. So, What's does up? the effect of Dengrisu, whenever you detach one, does it matter which one do you t detach or does it not? No, it does not matter. Um, as long as it has material, it can protect. So it can protect everything on the field. And since, again, the, the effect triggers at the end phase, um, window would have been destroyed, but I'm trying to protect it for the sole purpose of blocking out my opponent. Cool. So again, that's just two card combo, no extenders. Um, and this deck can do a whole lot more um, with extenders. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, uh, go ahead with the deck profile. And now for the deck profile, um, hopefully y'all guys like the combo. Like I said, um, it has a lot more, um, you can reach a lot higher ceiling, um, of course, with two more cards in hand. I mean, three more cards in hand, but that two card combo is just awesome for me. So anyways, um, I played three Fluffle Penguin. I do it, like I said, because it's pretty much my um, my pot of greed. Um, if you uh, fusion uh, with this card as a fusion material, you get to get uh, two cards from um, from deck for free. Um, then I played uh, three Fluffle Dog. Uh, this one is pretty much part of that two card combo that pretty much uh, searches any uh, Fluffle or Edgem, well, an Edgem Saber from deck. Um, I played three Fluffle Bear. I want to see Fluffle Bear as much as possible because I need Toy Venom on the field to try to resolve a lot of my draw potential. Um, and then I played three Wings. Uh, a lot of people play it at two or even one. But I want to see it in my graveyard as much as possible because I get to see Toy Vendor as much as possible. That way I can activate its effect because I'm always going to be fusion summoning and I'm more than likely going to have more than enough material in the graveyard to get its effects to go off so that I can keep drawing. 
Um, I play two edge uh, chain. Uh, I want to play at three. Um, when I get my hands on it, I'm definitely going to try it. Um, but this card right here searches for Pfeiffer cards, which is great because it can search for patchwork and it can search for the fusion, um, which is part of pretty much the nine fusion. No, I'm sorry, the six fusions that you can play in this deck. Um, you can play Edgem Sabres. Uh, you can play it at one. Um, I play it at two because, I mean, it doesn't hurt to see it, honestly, because you can always use it off polymerization. And not all of your um, fusions in your extra deck um, get fusion off of Edgem Chain. They specifically uh, call for Edgem Saber to be one of their material. So this card, um, I mean, yeah, at two, I think it's fine. I play one Fluffle Owl. Um, I only play Owl because I can special summon him off with um, my Penguin. And also, um, he can actually be used if you don't ever see polymerization, which is not always the case. You can pay 500 life points and fusion, uh, pretty much fusion this card and material um, on the field um, from your extra deck, uh, hand or field, uh, without using polymerization and using this guy. Um, and or when this card is normal summon, you can add a polymerization. So, I mean, it, it's actually pretty good. So, I mean, you can do either or. I play one Fuffle Sheep. Um, I'm opting on playing it too. This is actually one of the other combo starters with um, Fluffle Dog. He gets pretty much two, he, he actually gets um, two uh, field, uh, field presences um, by being a pretty much uh, composed by itself. Um, I play the one Buster because I actually do uh, play um what you call it uh okay. union carrier um so i try to lock up my opponents whenever i get the chance um so yeah that's enough for my uh monsters i play a pretty hefty monster uh, lineup because i want to see as much of these cards as possible um and i don't want to break at all so um i search a lot in this deck so i play three patchwork if i could find my third one okay so here's my three patchwork uh, this card is like the bread and butter for this deck. It searches for your polymerization and uh, pretty much any uh, agent monster from your uh, deck. So it searches out the chain or the sabers. I played three toy vendor. Uh, this is pretty much um, the card that lets you add up to three cards from deck because um, it lets you send one card to the graveyard, um, which that card could be wings. And once wing hits the graveyard, you can send wing and another card from your graveyard and banish it and draw another card. Then you can send Toy Vendor from the field to the graveyard, draw another card, and then uh, Toy Vendor's effect goes off from the graveyard to add a card, uh, edge and card, or a fluffle card from your deck to your hand. So this card it could be a plus three if uh, fully resolved. Um, so definitely a three of. I play three po super polys. It's just way too good. Um, I mean, considering that you're going second, I mean, even going first, if you don't run into uh, polymerization, uh, this card will definitely uh, cut it. Um, even at that, you can you have uh, cards that you can send to a graveyard, such as Edge and Chain or Fluffle Wings or uh, Bear, even at that. I mean, anything. You could just send anything, and it won't really hurt you. Um, I play three Fuller's Burial Goods because you want to see Toy Vendor at all times. You have to see it because if you send this to the graveyard, again, you can search for the for anything, but what you would probably search off is for Bear to get another Toy Vendor to the field and then try to get all that draw power. Um, I play two Polymerization. I should play three, but I only play two right now. Um, basically because I got a lot of search power for it. I can search it off with a lot of things. Um, I play two Fry for Fusion. This one's Fusion Summons from Extra Deck uh, by Banishing from Graveyard. Um, I play the one Fusion Recycle Plant for the one occasion that I do not um, draw into my polymerization for whatever reason. Um, I would play this over, well, yeah, no, I mean, yeah. Cause this one also lets you, at the end phase, lets you add a fusion material that you use for fusions um, at the end phase and add it to your hand. Um, I play the one insta fusion for the window in my extra deck to lock out my opponent. I play the Frifer Reborn. It pretty much lets you uh, target a Frifer monster from your graveyard and special summon it. Um, and pretty much you can banish this card and you can target a Fluffle. Um, one of your Fluffle or Frifer monsters from Banish Zone and you can pretty much put it back in your graveyard. That way you can resolve your Frifer fusions again. Uh, I play that at one of, it's not really that important. Uh, Sutra Reborn lets you uh, target a Fluffle or Frightfur monster from your graveyard uh, and pretty much special summon it, but if that's unregated. Um, and I play the one Monster Reborn. These are pretty much my three uh, Monster Reborns in the deck. Uh, just, you know, just to overextend if I need to, uh, in case I need to go to the Union Carrier, or maybe if I get lucky and go into something else. 
Um, and lastly, I play one Regeki. Um, I would like to play Lightning uh, Lightning Storm, but um, nobody apparently wants to sell the card, so I'm on the hunt for it right now. Um, that's enough for the main deck. Extra deck, I play one Cross Sheep. Uh, this is in place of the Anaconda Verte, but one Anaconda Verte. Uh, Union Carrier, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna try to resolve this as much as possible, but it doesn't always come out. Um, I play two Fry for Sabretooth. Two I think is enough. Um, I play two Tiger, just because um, I could play, um, and I didn't even add it in here, but I could play um, uh, IP Mascarina. But this card right here, going second, is really good because it gets you um, at least two to three um, uh, field removal uh, for free, just for special summoning them. Um, this guy, then you play the one wolf. Uh, this one is pretty much the OTK of the deck. Um, the material used for this this card to be special summon, you can attack up to that many times. And also, these this card and the um, the saber tooth give um, attack boosts per every Frightford card on the field. So this guy gives a solid 400 for every one, and then this one gives um, another. And I'm sorry, this one gives 400 for each to each one and then this one gives 300 for each one so this one gives you four this one gives you up to how many ever uh, any other Freifert cards including itself is on the field um i play one kraken um i'm opting him to two um but because this deck locks out i don't know that i'm gonna need to go to that otk all the time i mean i don't think that i'm gonna need to go like into 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 swinging him uh, swinging him twice because i'm gonna more than likely try to get this guy out um, over him, but I mean, it's it's a it's definitely a possibility to up it at two. Uh, one window, like again, it's to, to lock your opponent out. It's definitely a uh, a very essential card in this deck. Um, one sheep, um, you can actually uh, summon sheep off of Instafusion in case I don't know they uh, somehow get this card out of your extra deck. You can special summon it, and at the end phase, um, it gets destroyed by Instafusion, but. On the next phase, it'll be special summoned by its own effect, and it'll also gain 800 attack, so it'll be a 2800 B stick for free. Um, I play the one uh, Mud Dragon Swamp for also the Insta Fusion target, just in case, or Super Polymerization. Um, that's a, another Super Poly target. I play the one Dragon Fusion, uh, Venom, uh, Sergeant Venom uh, for the Poly. I play one Dengirsu, and then um, depending on your plays, I, I play one um, Galaxy, well, well um, what's this place? Harpinger. Just in case. Um, I mean, it's not a bad card. I think it's it's still solid in this meta. Uh, for the side deck, I played two Effect Veiler, two Nibiru, two uh, Gamma Seal, three Twin Twister. Uh, <laughs> for the uh, against the um, the uh, what are you the mirror match or the zoo matchup, I play uh, three D Barrier. Uh, and dude, they'll be like, Nani? They'll be like, what the fuck? Like this guy plays his deck and he's like playing his own weakness against him. Uh, but little do they know that I'm more than likely gonna get my plays off before I set this. I'm not gonna set myself up for failure. Um, and lastly, I play evenly matched against that spam heavy deck. So uh, if you have any, um, I don't know, uh, if, if y'all have any uh, suggestions, uh, want to extra to add to this deck, I'll definitely uh, look into the comment section and take them into consideration. But until then, I will definitely be showcasing more decks with Ed. Again, big shout out to Ed from uh, Team Elite and all his guys. Um, and also I give a big shout out to the um, uh, the founder of Team Savage, Eric, um, who will also be showcasing in this, uh, in this channel here coming soon. So again, uh, uh, be safe out there with this coronavirus thing going on. And uh, yeah, man, don't do drugs. One, two, three, come on. Enthusiastic about it, so <laughs> okay. Bring that energy up. <laughs> okay. Tell him, Mundo.